morning, everyone. I'm joining you today from my home office to share with you the story of Jennifer Keelan. Now, just for a moment, I want to take you back to 33 years in the past, spring of 1990. Jennifer Keelan is headed to Washington, D.C. to attend a protest along with a number of other activists. Now, Jennifer is no stranger to protests. For two years before the pandemic, she averaged one protest every six months, and she's even been arrested. But if you had seen Jennifer then, in 1990, it would have been easy to dismiss her. For one, Jennifer is female. Two, in the spring of 1990, Jennifer was only eight years old. And three, Jennifer uses a wheelchair. However, this is the exact reason she was in Washington, D.C. all those years ago. You see, the world before 1990 made very few accommodations for people with disabilities. Buildings didn't have ramps. Sidewalks didn't have curb cuts. And people with disabilities could be refused service just because they were disabled. Jennifer herself couldn't go to school with her own sister. So, on March 12, 1990, Jennifer and 475 other disabled activists went to D.C. to crawl up the 76 marble steps to the Capitol's west front. They were begging the government to pass the Americans with Disabilities Act, which had been stalled in Congress because big business thought it would cost them too much. The climb took Jennifer almost an hour to complete, but she is quoted as saying, I'll take all night if I have to. The next day, this picture of Jennifer on her hands and knees appeared in the news. And the protests worked! On July 26, 1990, then President George H.W. Bush signed the Americans with Disabilities Act into law. He is quoted as saying, let the shameful wall of exclusion finally come tumbling down. I share this story with you because I want you to know how powerful you are. No matter your age, your ability, your gender, you have the power. Your activism matters. I just have to wonder what matters to you?